Hello, this is Keith Hall, and today we're going to be talking about multiple things. We're going to be talking about the sum ifs formula. We're going to set up a data validation list. We're also going to add in conditional formatting, as you see here. So, in other words, when I select any value from a data validation list, it's going to uh, highlight the areas that fall in with the criteria with the conditional formatting. And we're also going to speak about 2D ranges. So let's uh, uh, first talk about, uh, let's, let's select over here any amount. Okay. So basically what this is going to do down here is that I'm going to select a value from a data validation list and it's going to create a sum ifs formula based upon it's going to sum a certain range based upon any sum the values that are greater than whatever i select here so that's what it's the basic premise of this tutorial is and what the spreadsheet is set up to do first of all let's talk about what is a 2d range in excel well, basically, a 2D range refers to a rectangular block of cells within a single worksheet. So it spans multiple rows and columns. So this is important to understand when we're doing the sum is formula. Sum is, is basically we're going to sum a certain range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a range of cells that we're going to sum up. So that's your 2D range. Okay, so let's go through what I'm doing down here. First of all, let's, uh, how do we set up a data validation list? Well, this is static, this particular one. So basically what I did was I did to a shortcut key is Alt A for data, V, V, V is in vector. And that brings up your data validation. The other way that you could do that is going up to data and your menu and come over to the data tools over here. And we're going to select this icon here that says data validation. And then we're going to select data validation. It brings you to the same area. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create a list of values for this drop down to here. So basically what you do is you're going to, in a settings tab, you're going to select list. And what I did was I manually typed the values that I want that will appear in this list. So I did a range from 10,000 incremented by 10,000 each all the way up to 100,000. So basically that's how that is done. So now let's get over to the conditional formatting. How am I formatting this based upon uh, uh, what I want to select over here? Sum all the sales greater than a certain amount. So basically I'm summing the values that I select here in the sum as formula greater than whatever I select in this data validation list. Well, this data validation list, I also gave it a name. So if you go up to the name box here in the upper left, I just called it sales. You can call it anything that you want. So now Excel knows that whenever I refer to sales of anything, it's going to refer to this particular cell. So that's how that's working there. And now let's uh, let's go back to the conditional formatting. So how you select up conditional formatting is you want to select a range of cells that you want to conditionally format. So basically what I did was I selected this range of numbers here. I went up to home and then conditional formatting. And I want to set, I wanted to set up a new rule but I already have the rule in place, but the way you edit it uh, is a little bit differently, but let's uh, bear with me. I'm gonna select manage rules. And this uh, uh, is the conditional formatting 
rule that I set up. So I set up edit rule. Let's uh, let's go back here for a second. Let's go back to new rule. So basically what I did was I use use a formula to determine which cells to form. So that's what I did. And I put in the formula here and I clicked on format. So let's just go back and manage or edit the rule that I already set up. So I select it, edit rule. So again, use a formula to determine which cells are formatted. So what does this mean? C5 greater than sales. So basically this formula is gonna be applied to uh, all the cells that I want to continuously format. Now, since I selected cell C5 all the way down to G19, it's going to apply that formula to every single cell in that range. So when I say C5, Excel first determines if the value in C5 is going to be greater than the name I call the sales, uh, greater than the value I select in here. So in this case, um, is cell C5 greater than 80,000? And of course, as you can see, it's not. It's going to return false. So then it goes down to, goes to the next cell in this range, which is going to be D5. And it's going to determine whether or not cell D5 is greater than 80,000. In this case, no, it's not. So it's, so whenever it returns a false for this formula, it won't format it. It won't. It will only format it, the cells in this range, if this formula returns true. So C5 is relative. So that means that it's going to um, uh, check this formula for each cell. It's going to move over from C5 to B5 to E5 and so on. And then when it gets to th this uh G5, it's going to come down here, go to C6 and repeat the process. So that's how that works. So basically, then we go over to format. And then what I did was I just wanted it to format based upon um, I selected a color that I wanted to, to fill. And that's basically what it's going to do. So when that formula returns true in the conditional formatting, it's going to format this that cell and give it a fill color of this color here. So that's how that is working here. So now let's go over here to the summons for, uh, formula. So basically what this is doing, so let me, um, so it's easier for you to read. I'm going to type in a formula, formula, text and basically i'm going to give it a reference there and then press enter so let's uh go over here increase the fonts and raise okay so basically what this formula is doing just watch this formula here and i'm going to recreate it so i'm going to create some myths What am I, the force argument is, what am I summing? Well, the sum range is going to be this range here. That's the range I want to sum. Now, what's the criteria? The criteria range is going to be, uh, when I sum something up, what, do I, what range do I want to sum up? So it's going to be, in this case, the same range. Okay. And now the criteria. What's the criteria? Well, in this case, is I want to sum all values in this range that are greater than this value over here. So basically, I'm going to put in quotes the greater uh, than symbol, and then I want to concatenate with that using the uh, ampersand symbol. So I want to be greater than this value over here. So this value over here is that, which I named it sales. So I press OK with that. 
and then press enter. So basically, it went ahead and highlighted all the cells that are greater than 80,000, as you can see here, and it sums up all those values, and it equals to 2,425,000. You can spot check this by highlighting the highlighted cells, okay? And then we're gonna look at the status star down below. And as you can see in the status bar in your bottom right of the screen, uh, it's summing up the values that we highlighted and it equals this value right here. So that's how you do all this uh, for, for example, you want to do some data analysis. So I want to thank you for stopping by today. I hope you learned something new with all these different things that we talked about from 2D ranges to using the SOMAS formula, conditional formatting, and creating a named range all in one tutorial. Again, thank you for stopping by. You have a great day. Remember to like and share this video. And as always, please subscribe to my channel so you will always be updated with uh, whenever a new video comes out. Thanks again. Bye now.